Hello everybody. I'm here to talk about astrology to you. I'm um, give you a little astro weather report for the next couple days. Um, today we have the sun in Aries and the moon in Gemini. So the sun, our outer expression, is in a fire sign. It's energetic. And the moon, our emotional body, our inner expression, is in an air sign, which is chaotic. <laughs> it can be chaotic. Moon and Gemini can sometimes um, <clears throat> get moving really fast and be really spread out all over the place, kind of like lightning. So you kind of want to put your finger in all the pies, maybe do some multitasking, especially because the moon is also waxing. It's getting bigger. So momentum is building, energy is building. And so when we have a fiery and airy sun and moon placement, that adds to the energy. Sometimes that can be like getting overwhelmed and feeling like drained. You're like, oh my gosh, I can't, I can't deal with all the scatteredness. Sometimes it looks like actually being really scattered and multitasking and forgetting why you started things and forgetting what you were saying and where you were going and what you were doing. Um, so a good way to deal with this um, today, this evening, and into Thursday um, up until midday is some physicality. That's always a good way to deal with an excess of energy or even a lack of um, a lack of energy. So um, after Thursday midday to Saturday, the moon will move into Cancer. So Thursday midday to I think midday Saturday or Saturday evening. Um, we have a square between the sun and the moon. The sun is in the cardinal sign Aries. It's fire sign. It's initiatory. And it's in the cardinal sign Cancer. So it's another um, new season. kind of. It's another initiatory kind of a sign. Um, cancer is. Cancer brings summer. So can't stop spring, can't stop summer, can't stop fall, can't stop winter. So we will all likely feel kind of initiatory on uh, Thursday afternoon through Saturday evening um, and it can be a little bit uncomfortable when the Sun and Moon are squaring it's like our outer and our inner are kind of at odds with each other um, and when the moon is in cancer we all get our emotions are all just a little bit closer to the surface um, so again a good way to deal with a lot of um, tension or with the, like extra energy that's uncomfortable especially when the sun is in aries and especially especially when the moon is waxing is through physical exertion so through exercise through dance through moving your body playing games doing something that involves movement in your body will help to release some of that steam that builds up from um, just energies at odds with each other Saturday evening through Tuesday, the sun will be in Aries and the moon will be in Leo. So that's two fire signs. So we have fire in our outer expression, we have fire in our inner expression. And um, so we'll kind of pick the pace back up. That's more of a harmonious relationship between the two luminaries, the sun and the moon. They can, um, the fire just understands fire better. It works better together. It's more harmonious. It's the same, the same element. Um, so we should feel a little bit of relief from any of the stuck energy or the tension or that like in cohesion. I don't think that that's a word, but um, that comes from the, the sun and moon squaring when they're trining. It's it's like. It's easier, it's harmonious. It's like when the sun and moon are squaring, it's like <clears throat> when you get to a four-way stop, everybody pulls up at the same time and you all kind of inch forward. You don't really know whose turn it is to go. Um, that would be like the energy of a square. And the sun is in Aries and the moon is in Cancer squaring. Then when the sun is in Aries and the moon is in Leo, two fire signs, it's like pulling right up to the four-way stop and it is the most effortless effortless traffic engagement you could have ever had. So um, use that energy over the weekend. We are kind of coming to a close on Aries season. Um, that'll be around the 20th. So let's capitalize on this movement, especially while the moon is waxing, while it's getting bigger and momentum is building. And um, let's just really use it to propel ourselves forward and initiate things in our lives. Um, have a great week. And if you have any questions, let me know.